In this screencast, we will be discussing the Hume Rothery rules that refer to solid solutions. So a pure crystalline metal doesn't exactly exist in reality. Instead, structures contain impurities. So alloys are materials in which impurities have been deliberately added. The question is, what happens when we put two solids together? We're going to talk about miscibility, which is the ability for two solids to be partially or completely soluble in each other. So what are the things that are factors in whether two solids will be miscible? And these are what are known as the Hume-Rothery rules. So the first one is the atomic size factor. And as you might imagine, the radii of the two different metals should be similar. So, and in fact, they must be less than 15% different. So, the second rule or factor is the crystal structure. And what we mean by the crystal structure is, is it face-centered cubic, is it body-centered cubic, hexagonal, etc. So for complete miscibility, the crystal structure has to be the same. The third factor is electronegativity. And these are based on the Pauling electronegativities. And so they should be similar. And in fact, if you have very dissimilar electronegativities, what you'll get is a compound rather than a solid solution. And finally are the valence numbers. So the valence numbers should be similar. So now that we've gone over the rules, let's go over an example. So we will look at aluminum and silicon. And if you look at a phase diagram, what you'll find is that they are partially soluble. So let's see which rules they satisfy and which rules they don't. So the first one, let's look at atomic radii. So aluminum has a radii or radius of 0 0.143 nanometers. Silicon has a radius of 0 0.117 nanometers. So they are obviously different. So let's see what the percent difference is. So we look at the radius of the aluminum minus the radius of the silicon divided by the radius of aluminum and multiply that by 100. The percent difference is 18.2%, which is greater than that 15% difference. And that automatically tells you that you are going to have partial solubility. So what kind of structures do they have? So silicon has a diamond cubic structure where aluminum has an FCC structure. The diamond cubic is a repeating pattern of eight atoms, so it follows the face-centered cubic structure but has a much smaller packing factor. So the structures are different and they do not satisfy the second rule. Thirdly, let's look at the electronegativities. Aluminum has electronegativity of 1.6. Silicon has an electronegativity of 1.9. They're similar, but again, you'd like to see them closer. And finally, let's look at the valences. Aluminum has a plus three charge, Silicon has a plus four. So all of these rules are pretty much broken, and therefore aluminum and 
silicon are only partially soluble.